Welcome to the F1 Pre-Action System Single Interlock Electric Release Simulation Scenario. We are going to cover what happens when a fire starts in an environment that is protected by an F1 Pre-Action System equipped with a Single Interlock Electric Release and what each component of the system does to ensure the fire becomes controlled as quickly as possible. The model F1 Deluge Valve is a quick opening differential diaphragm flood valve with one moving mechanism. The valve is held closed by system water pressure trapped in the priming chamber keeping the outlet chamber and system piping empty. During a fire, when the releasing system operates, pressure is released from the priming chamber. The deluge valve clapper opens to allow water to flow into the system piping. The prime line directs water to the prime chamber of the deluge valve. The prime line consists of an open priming ball valve, a Y strainer, a restricted orifice, and a check valve. The Y strainer keeps debris from entering the restricted orifice. The restricted orifice reduces the rate at which water can enter the prime chamber, ensuring that prime water will drain faster than it could be supplied. The check valve only permits water to enter the priming chamber, allowing prime chamber pressure to be maintained. Following the trim off the prime chamber is the pressure operated relief valve, or PORV. The PORV is a device that ensures the valve remains in an open state while water is flowing through the valve. When water is directed to the sensing side of the PORV, the push rod is forced open. Priming water is then directed to the open drain, preventing the priming chamber from repressurizing. The normally closed electric solenoid valve is part of the prime line. While closed, the solenoid valve keeps water pressure in the prime chamber. When activated open, it releases water pressure from the prime chamber. The electric detection devices in this scenario are smoke detectors. In a scenario where a fire has started and begins to smoke, the smoke detector sends a signal to the VFR 500 release control panel. Once the signal is received, the VFR 500 sends 24 volts of electricity to the normally closed electric solenoid valve and powers it open, releasing water pressure from within the priming chamber of the deluge valve. Once water pressure is released from the priming chamber, the clapper is forced open by the supply water pressure from the inlet chamber, filling the valve body and connected trim with water. The PORV is activated when water from the outlet chamber forces the push rod open, redirecting prime water out into the drain cup. Simultaneously, water will also fill the trim leading to the water flow alarm, causing it to activate, alerting the VFR 500 release control panel. Water fills the system piping, but it's not discharged into the room. Once the heat rises enough to reach the sprinkler's rated temperature, the dry barrel pendant sprinkler will activate. Since there's already water in the system piping, it is immediately discharged and the fire is controlled. The valve continues to supply water to the system until it is shut down.